session for a minute. I want to thank all of you for coming. I want to thank Dan and Sandy and I can't call everybody's name, Charlotte and Beth, and everything that they did to make this happen. You're helping an old man atone for a multitude of sin. <laughs> thank you for being here. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little love story about a boy and a girl that grew up in little towns four miles apart called Falston and Lawndale in Cleveland County. We both were Methodists growing up, and we had excellent MYF counselors. And the first time we met was when two churches went together, the Baptist Church, the Methodist Church in Lawndale, Methodist Church in Falston got together, and they took the kids out to visit other kids to invite them to come to MYF. What a concept, kids inviting kids. And that's the first time I met Brenda. She was 11, I was 12, and of course I was with her and a, a girlfriend of hers. I don't remember her name, and I didn't remember Brenda at the time. Because at 12 years old, I was curious about girls, but I was afraid of soap. <laughs> Isn't it funny how it always discover girls and soap about the same time? <laughs> well, fast forward about eight years. Now Brenda is a beauty queen, and she's a senior in high school. And I graduated last year. And we're still active in MYF. And for some reason, we both went to an MYF summer camp at Camp Hope near Waynesville, North Carolina, up in the mountains. And I met her again for the first time. And she was a beauty queen. She still is. And we square danced every night for a week. <laughs> Now, you didn't call it square dancing back then, you called it folk games, okay? They didn't like that, but she flung a craven on me. <laughs> and two weeks later, I called her up and asked her for a date. I was a little slow back then, I'm even slower now. And after the third day, I knew this was the one I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Took her a little longer to get used to the idea. <laughs> and I eventually went to her house and talked to her mom and dad and told them I wanted to marry the daughter. Well, the mama, Lois Waters, got up and left the room. I didn't know what that was about and her father didn't say anything. So I went on back home. <laughs> and April the 14th, 1962, we got married, and we've been together ever since, and I eventually asked Lois, uh, what did you think when I asked for Brenda's hand? And in so many words, she said she didn't think anybody was good enough for her daughter, and it shocked her. And what she really said was, Lord, I got the blind spiders. <laughs> I don't know if you ever had that, but it's pretty serious. But I can tell you this, that since Count Hope, neither one of us have dated anyone else or imagined being with anyone else all these years. Now, Brenda, all those years are behind us. They're memories now. But they're good ones. And what's ahead of us, we don't know. But we hope we're going to spend them all together. What we do have is today 
This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Will you sing happy birthday with me? And her name is Sweet Brenda. Okay. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, sweet Brenda. Happy birthday to you.
have probably done ice age. I don't know that we did fun either. Oh, that's a good one. Good singing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're still saving your seat. Oh, in the car? Yes. Yeah, I'm 